Previously on Raider Power, Texas Tech Volleyball. Eight, seven, we should be going. Six, five, four, we should be going. Uh, it's fast, one of the terms we like to use is fast and furious. You know, it's, we're getting in and getting out. We're not gonna be in here long and slow. I, I've been in practices where, you know, it's good work, but it's slow. I'd rather get in and less is more. It's focusing on a certain component. We can't teach everything all at once. So let's get better at this area and then let's change. Let's get better at this area and then those areas all come together. Good. Watch the other person's feet. Do you watch the next person's feet? We like to talk about the mechanics and movements. What do our feet do and what does our body do? And so when we put the learning and the visual part with the mechanics the right way, it's that's when real learning happens. Hands down, hands correct, Nicole, bring them down, get them set. That's better. Every time, Nicole. So if we can get better with every touch and every play and every day, you know, then it truly happens. That's when that that combustion internally, like it, it just you can see the joy in you know their eyes. They they light up and they go, aha, this is how I learn. And once they begin to teach themselves how to learn and they begin the learning really then, you know, blossoms. When you extend and pose, that it looks the same. Okay? You're on that. I want to instill the joy and the love of how to learn and how to learn volleyball. You know, like that's what I know how to teach at the highest levels. And uh, I think that's when you know as a coach you've, you've built, uh, you've given them something, the joy, the passion to learn, the joy to learn, and how to go about learning. Pre-game has a lot to do with the, the, the bigger picture feel and hope you're giving the right feedback and the right reps and the right preparation so they're, they're emotionally ready because, you know, physically we're done. Now it's just that emotional and, and this game, when it comes to winning and losing, is a lot between the ears. So are, emotionally, are we emotionally and psychologically ready? And so game time begins to give you that feel of are we, are we bringing the focus into a uni, unified group? And, and then it, is it a unified team? Welcome, one, two, three, crack up! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the United Spirit Arena for tonight's match between the University of Texas and your Texas Tech Red Raiders. Hey! Go, Tech, go! 21 left back, 11 left front. Hey, hey, look, we talked about it today. Play to our potential, okay, and then make some big plays. Let's go take care of it tonight, all right? Let's go up top. Come on. Talk a lot about playing to play great. You know, let's not play to just play average or we hope or let's play to play great. But one of the things that we want our athletes to know, they don't have to be spectacular. You have to play to your potential. Reach your potential tonight. Do the things that you normally do. And if you do your job and the person next to you does their job and the person behind you or in front of you, then all of a sudden we're all doing our job. We're probably going in the right direction. And they put the ball in play, and it's going to be dug up by the Red Raiders. Over to Amanda Dowdy, off of the block, and the Red Raiders get their first point. Amanda got up high there off the fingertips, and it was off the blockers and then off of a, uh, a UT player on the back row. Once we go into a match, the horses are in the barn. It's about are you emotionally and are you physically ready to compete at your highest potential? And, you know, that's all we can ask. Dug up by the Red Raiders. Over to Amanda Dowdy, and it'll be blocked back, and a great oh, job. Wow. <laughs> by Rangel as she just puts it over and the Red Raiders going back deep and will catch the line. And when we do our jobs, if we play to our potential, then we know what we're going to expect from you. We know what we're going to get from you. It's, you know, so just 
our goal is to play to our potential and grow that potential. And a good serve, good jump serve by number 10, Ackerman, as she puts the ball in play. She not only hit the ball, she can serve it well. And a great block by the Red Raiders, and that was going to be Rangel and Cave who blocked that back. And a good dig on the back row by Amanda Dowdy. Cave trying to catch that back line and will. Play clean is, is, a, is something we, we talk a lot about, and it's really about being efficient. Just do, do the things you do, do them at a high level, and, and don't let other things get in the way of that. 25-16, the University of Texas wins set. Number one. When we have our opportunities to play to our potential or play to play great, we've got to do that. Okay? Take care of what you do. Respect what you do. Take care of your part. Do the simple pieces of the game versus trying to do too much. You, I can't do your job. You're great at your job, and I'm going to do my job. And so that means play clean. Play, do your role and, and play efficient. We got to play at a much cleaner and faster level. Okay? It's nothing that they're doing. That's not anything different than you haven't seen. Maybe a little bit higher on some swings, but serving and passing? Come on, let's go. Let's take care of the ball. Let's go. You know, what can you control? You can control how you think. You can control how you move. You can control how you respond to the stimuli of what's happening in front of you. 25 to 12, and we're at intermission here, and the University of Texas leading two sets to none over your Red Raiders. Okay, control what we can control. What can we control? We can control that we're going to fly around and we're going to take care of our job. It's a life lesson too. It's a huge life lesson of, you know, we, I think people in the world stress about things they can't control, but let's be engaged and active and fix and change the things we can control. What do we say from the get-go? Play to your potential and make some big plays. Think about if you play to your potential and have you made some big plays, okay? And, and that's the analyzation for you internally about your learning. Take care of yourself and then what does that do? It helps us. You know, what is it that you do that can add to this ingredient? You know, what's the positive, what's, you know, the, what's the addition? And we talk a lot about being, are you positive, neutral, or negative? You know, and negative, we hope we're not in a match, but if you're just neutral, what, what can you add? What can you bring? What can you do? You know, think about the people who have come and gone on that court. Can you come and go and can you come and add something new? Come add something new to the pot and add something new to the equation. Add something new to this recipe. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. yeah? Okay, yes. keep working. There's there's only so much we can do, but we can what we take care of, we can do that, you know? Take care of what you do. Did you guys have fun? I like your fluffy jackets, can I feel it? <laughs> That's nice. That's hey, nice. You want some Are you yelling loud? Yeah. Okay, good. I think it makes a big difference when we get to interact with our fans, uh, especially the kids. I feel that after a tough loss and your, your head's down, if once you see those kids and those fans and those people, they're here to see you and just get to know you. And I think our girls do a really good job of putting themselves out there and getting to know their, fa their fans, our fans, thanking them. Good game out there. Thank you. Thank you yeah. for coming. No problem. I'll be here Saturday. Woohoo! Yeah. yeah. And we're only on the court because of the people who watch us, the administration supporting us and the fans. And to give just a little bit back to them, just tell them we appreciate them. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. And to be able to just sign an autograph for a girl who hopefully one day will be a Red Raider or just find some enjoyment in some sort of outdoor activity, maybe it's volleyball, is a great thing to give. And that's the type of legacies we want our girls to impart on our program, on this university, and this community. Yeah. Are you going to come on Saturday? Awesome. Yes, awesome. I Ooh, I like your oh, yes. To have someone think that what you're doing is, it has meaning, to, to want your autograph, that's a humbling, uh, boy, that, uh, uh, to you the core, humbles you that someone would look up to you and want to have their shirt signed. You want them signed? Yeah, yeah we'll sign them. What are you, you like? Lift your knee up? Yeah, that's a really um, cool part about being a collegiate athlete, and you don't really realize how many little ones are actually looking up um, at you, but it's pretty awesome, and just to kind of be their mentor and you don't even know you are is just a cool feeling until after the game you're signing autographs for them and you really realize how special it is to them. So it's a very cool experience. Moms and dads look at you and go, this has a lot of meaning for my young daughter, and uh, to smile and, and to know that you've been looked up to is that's a special piece of honoring what this program is about. Thank you guys. Thank you. 
But in his inauguration, Abraham Lincoln said, he declared that the states did not have a right to secede. He was trying to preserve the Union. He was trying to entice these states to maybe perhaps come back. But he was also declaring his intention to protect what belonged to the United States. We talk about taking care of yourself, taking care of your teammates, and taking care of the program. It's kind of a big picture kind of rule. And, and if you're not going to class, you're not taking care of yourself. On April 12, 1861, under the command of General P.G.T. Beauregard, Confederate troops would begin firing on Fort Sumner and officially start the Civil War. Because you're a student athlete and you're here to graduate, and you're here to graduate uh, with some knowledge about your area of emphasis, whatever your major is, and so that's an important piece. So Lincoln will call for, about, for approximately 75,000 more troops to put down this insurrection in the South. Academics are important to us. That's one of the most important things. We always say you're a student before you're an athlete. To balance school, study hall, weights, training. So I mean, it's pretty difficult, but it's something you have to overcome and just do it. All right, guys, um, check out the board real quick. Uh, here's what we got today. We're doing power clean. So the emphasis for today is explosiveness, okay? Katie is tremendous in multifacets. She uh, motivates and, and makes sure that they understand the demands of it every day and they enjoy the, you know, they enjoy the hard work. As heavy as you can move it fast for threes on your speed squat. Glute bridge is normal. Incline, let's go double arm together. Her knowledge is great. Her passion for it is great. And the respect from our athletes is, is a really big piece. And so to see their, their respect for her is, is a huge piece of why she gets so much out of them. All right, here we go. Let's get after it. Let's go. It's awesome. She gets us. I've put on so much muscle just from working out with her, and I really enjoy her. Hey, every rep's important on those cleans and speed squats. We want to move it fast, as fast as you can. It's sort of like our practice is fast and furious. Get in, get your work done, and get out. You know, and she, we're not going to be there for a long period of time, but when we get, when we're there, we're going to work hard, and she embodies that, and res they have a ton of respect for her. See if you can give me one more inch, Sam. Yeah, there you go. Same thing with you, Brogan. I need an inch or two more on the squat. Try to get as low as you can. You know, so the weight room becomes a really important piece in that and, and their investment in each other that, hey, I'm going to work hard next to you so that I know you're going to work hard next to me on the court. And so there's a byproduct there too. Now it's time for practice. Woo! Unload a little bit. Good. Good. Take care of the ball. Good. Good. 60% high control, good. Oh yeah, I think it's more mentally prepared because by the time I hit practice, I'm pretty physically tired. So it definitely takes a lot of mental preparedness to be ready for practice. Good, take care of the ball. Excellent. Good, good 20 and 11, very nice. You know, you prepare for your day and, and practice becomes a piece where now you've got to heighten your thinking about volleyball. And we know for us, it's about a, it's usually a two hour deal. Take care of the ball. Servers, be good. Good, that's all right. Now get that back to the middle of the court. Good feet, Kate, good. Good, midline the high left. Focus, take your time. That was low left for her, but you could go high left, okay? You know, and we ask for your brain to be fully engaged and be f mindful of the things that we're about to learn and our goal is to learn every day and grow every day and work your feet get your feet behind the ball good meg now higher in the middle of court megan lead her to the middle of the court there mego so those demands are great and so I, I think i think she's starting to understand and we are as a program and she's a part of that learning. As she learns and she helps people around her learn, I, I think this program will grow and I think Megan's a piece of that. And that preparation is hard. Why were you late? Why were you late? She closed, you gotta go. Hey, feet on the 10 foot line, feet on the 10 foot line. When we get in to do work, we gotta get work. And that was good work today, okay? And it's important because there's stuff that all pieces, if you went and put your finger on the board or your initials on the board of where you got focus, Everybody had a focus today, and I think we got work done. Up top, here we go. Guns up on TV. Guns up! Right now I'm working on a child interview project, and it's for HCFS, and that's the Human Development and Family Studies. And basically it's for intro to child education. And today I had to interview a four-year-old and ask him simple questions, and now I'm typing it up, and I'm going to turn it in tomorrow. This big whole thing, it's all, it's all about all of it. It's not just on the court. 
It's about being a student athlete and taking care of the big picture. And so when they do that, that's a special piece to be able to, to be prideful of wearing double T volleyball. And Texas Tech, part of the Wounded Warriors Project, wearing some special Wounded Warrior uniforms, camouflage numbers. It's a huge honor and just recognizing veterans. My wife's, uh, my wife's grandfather is a veteran. We have friends who are veterans. It's a special opportunity to be able to give back and show our respect. You know, I think that's the biggest thing. I mean, there's people that do so much for this uh, country uh, that, that goes unseen. And, and to have just a small piece of saying thanks and having some people here that can understand that our athletes will um, respect and honor what they've done. I think that's, that in lies uh, the opportunity for us to be able to say thanks. I thought it was really cool that we got to do that this year. Um, it's, I have such a soft, soft spot for soldiers. I just think they do so much for us and never receive the credit they deserve. We hope that those people know that they mean the world to us. You know, my dad was in Vietnam and I think about that every day and what he had to go through. And so I think something like this, something that small for us to just say thank you. I hope those shirts meant a lot to whoever was there that, um, that we thank them and we can't thank them enough for what they do. We appreciate them and I know there's a couple of the troops at our game and just for them to get to see that someone cares and someone appreciates them was just really special and it was just really, uh, it was really humbling. Very special, very important, just knowing what it stands for. All the soldiers overseas who have fought in the past for us and for our freedom for what we're getting to do that day, play volleyball. So it was very special and I did take it to heart and it was a very cool experience just getting to wear that camo jersey and being out there representing something greater than us. Hey look, it's really imperative. We've got to establish the pressure and keep the pressure on these guys. Okay? Establish that. Our offense is getting good rhythm and go. Let's go compete. We love it. Let's go compete. Let's go. Let's go. Black and one, two, three. Let's go. And, and that's a learned product. We can learn how to embrace competition. We can learn how to play at the highest levels and enjoy this opportunity because it's life-giving. Bring it. Be aggressive. Come on. Be aggressive. Let's go. Kansas try and take the lead now. Good dig there by Amanda Dowdy. Myers sets up for Cave Cave. Good double block by the Jayhawks. Myers sets it up for Brianne David. She puts it down. Great job by David to get that one in there. 8-7 lead for Texas Tech. Jayhawks working on trying to get it back over. Good job by Kansas. Myers puts it down herself over the net. 9-8 Texas Tech lead. Hey, look, this is about making the small plays. Okay, we've got to score, okay? We've got to get a stuffy. We've got to keep passing the ball. We've got to pressure serving. That's the one thing. Take care of the little things, you know, and that's outside the court, on the court, in the you know course of a match, all those things, but it's one play. She digs that one up, now set back to her. She puts it over past the double block for the Red Raiders. Dowdy puts it down off the hands of Jamie Matthew. That's, that's collegiate volleyball right there. Play it point to point. Point to point. So right now it's about playing point to point. Right now to start with, being clean, doing your job. You know, it's just point to point. We can't do anything about the last one, and we can't take care of something in front of us. Take care of the demands um, that are happening now. Stay in the now. Stay in the moment. We're right here. Just take care of what we do. Okay? And the fans are up in the United Spirit Arena as Tori Vaughn is back to serve. 24-20 lead for Texas Tech. Gets it over. Dug by the Jayhawks. Set. Good double block by Texas nice. Tech. Off the hand. Point Texas Tech. Game one. Mark it down for the Red Raiders. 25-20, they take game one. We played great the first game, and I think sometimes when we play great, we're not mindful of how we went about doing it. So Texas Tech trying to keep this game alive and this match alive. Here comes Tate Jarmok, puts that one down with authority, and that is the match. Because as long as we stay the course and trust the process, we're getting better. You know, and as soon as we don't trust the process or feel sorry for ourselves, we know what the result's going to be. At least if we stay the course and get better, we have an opportunity to change the results. What can we control? And that's what we can control. They have embraced the opportunities in front of them. And uh, I've, I've learned to respect, I have a lot of respect for this team. You know, we talk a lot about they start out as a group and they become a team at some time. And they've really become a good team of of uh, pushing each other and supporting each other and 
but they haven't shied away from the difficult things. And it makes us think and it makes us hurt because why? Because this is important because we know, we know we can play and be the better team on a given night. There's no doubt in my mind. It hurts because it matters. This thing matters, you know, and you look around, this is a family deal. You guys are all, we're family. We're digging into this stuff and going the right direction and doing the right thing. We've just got to trust it. You got to keep your head high, but you got to look and see what can you do? What does it take to be more prepared? We talked about preparation for practice, preparation for a match. Nothing in the Big 12 handed to you. We're asking you to play to your potential. It's all we ask, you know, and you got to do it point to point, play to play. You know, and it's, it's just those one little thing where somebody takes one part of a playoff, but let's, let's learn, okay? Let's learn about what we do because this is going the right way and we're going to stay the course. That's all we know, okay? You know, it's hard to look yourself in the mirror, and I think this team will, has grown up uh, tremendously in its maturation process about being honest with itself about who we are and how we learn, and, and I, I have a lot of respect. Uh, I, I will remember this group you know, tremendously for that.